Claims of racial profiling and questionable detainment by MPD officers as a judge ruled the civil rights of a state senator's son was violated. Now, I first spoke with State Senator Lena Taylor back in 2016, a month after this incident took place. And tonight, she tells me she had no other choice but to file a suit against the city after her concerns were not addressed by the prior mayor and chief of police. Tonight, her son opens up about that cold December night. It was definitely sur a surreal experience. Isaiah Taylor was 16 years old when he ran across Capitol Drive to deliver frozen turkey to a neighbor for the holidays. One black male for suspicious activity. TMJ4 News obtained police body camera from Taylor's lawyer, capturing the moments after he was stopped and questioned by two MPD officers. You know, dude, it's okay, man. It's okay. Where are you coming from? My house. I was just dropping off a turkey for a friend. To where? Which house? That house right there. This one right here? My mom said that we can, I can take the turkey over. I was just running it over to them. Okay. Even after discovering the frozen bird, Taylor was not allowed to leave the squad car. His mother, State Senator Lena Taylor, waiting at home, had no idea what was going on just feet from her doorstep. As a mom, what hurt me the most mm. was when my baby said, Mom, I was looking back. I was looking for you to look for me because I had been too long. Fast forward seven years, Isaiah is now a young adult serving in the military. The Taylors say they were forced to sue the department when their concerns went unanswered. There's been the ACLU lawsuit. Um, and so in looking at those things, it looks like we've made progress. But I read the depositions of individuals who are the officers who have now been promoted, who are supervising, and um, I'm concerned. Last week, a district court judge ruled there was evidence that Isaiah's rights had been violated. I have been pushing my city to get it right for a long time. I sat down with Taylor's attorney, Mark Thompson. He was very, very clear that once they knew it was a turkey, they had no right to detain him, arrest him, put him in the car, question him, even though they didn't handcuff him, right? even though they were allegedly nice. Until my department, my city insists on training its officers to do the right thing, to act in a constitutional matter, we're gonna to continue to have unlawful stops. Meanwhile, Isaiah is just thankful he made it back to his mother's arms and he's been able to move on from that night. I don't know another word for it, but vindicated that at least somebody is rooting in my corner that's not just my family. The ruling now in the hands of the city's attorney's office to agree to a settlement, money that ultimately taxpayers will have to shoulder.